Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I got another palette to try out for you guys. I feel like all I'm doing at the moment is trying out new eyeshadow palettes. Kind of loving it, kind of can't keep up as well, but this one I'm very, very, very excited about. So it's just dawned on me while editing, but this is gonna be the first time you guys on YouTube will have seen my hair like this. Um, yeah, uh, surprise. I got extensions, I have hair again. Bit anticlimactic, really. Um, if you want more pictures, then it's on my Instagram. Cool, right, let's get back into the video. So me, myself, and Mitchell. M -m 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 Mitchell. Yeah, I'm buzzing to try this. I've already had a little sneak peek, haven't swatched anything yet, but um, oh god, this looks so good. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see me trying this out on camera for the first time, doing some sort of makeup look, no idea what I'm going to do yet, standard, um, then yeah, please stay tuned. Don't ask me what this top is, put it on, thought it could look cute. Um, just it's like I'm kind of wrapped in a seatbelt now, really. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring you in a little bit. I can't move on this chair. So I've got a little note with mine from Mitch. It says, Steph, I hope you love getting creative with my new palette. Can't wait to see your looks. Love, Mitchell. Thanks, babes. I love how this palette looks. I mean, it's not necessarily like my taste as such, but I love the fact that it's just a bit bloody different and it's not just like your standard kind of packaging. Oh, look, there's a little like cow or like llama thing driving a car. Nice. Uh, yes. Packaging, very nice. So, I'm sure you guys have already seen it all already, but basically this has, it's kind of like opens up like a book. So, this side here we have like a lot of the warm tones. You then have a little magnetic mirror. I'm gonna try not to like blind you guys with that, but like that literally just like slots in there and is like magnetic. And then on the other side, you know this side is catching my eye. Makes me weak, I'm telling you. These kind of tones, they just make me weak. This is like the more like, Cool tone side, you got your blues, you got your greens, my like usual color palette basically. So yeah, these are what the shades look like and honestly like, I feel like we've all, and I never thought I would ever say this, I feel like we've all kind of seen the blue and the green palettes. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of like going against everything I know saying that, but like I feel like there's been a lot of them recently. But this palette, I don't know, I feel like it kind of has a few different tones in there. Like not necessarily your standard blue or your standard green or your standard pink or whatever. So yes, on first impressions, I like how this looks. I'm gonna take off the little cellophane thing. ASMR, are you ready? Oh fuck, this is why I'm not an ASMR person. Yeah, I truly really shouldn't do ASMR, should I? By the way, the names in this palette kill me. Like some of them just absolutely kill me, like meaty. To be fair, that does look like a meaty shade. Macaroni, macaroni looks good, man. And that's not just because I'm a little bit hungry. And then of course, morning glory. What else? So then on the more cool tone sides, oh, it just, it's so bloody satisfying. Okay, let's do a few swatches on this side. I wanna do shmoney. I also wanna do miles high. Oh, that one feels really good. I feel like I'm not gonna use meaty. So I wanna try it. That looks decent. And then I will also try, let's do another shimmer. Let's do Mega down here. Ooh, howdy. So yeah, um, I have no idea what kind of makeup look I'm gonna do. Never really do with these kind of videos. Um, but I'm gonna try and make something out of this palette and hopefully make it look pretty. And if it doesn't look pretty, then you will probably never see this video. So I'm just gonna start off by setting my base with the P. Louise base. I did already have concealer on there, but that was from like quite a while ago. And for this kind of look that I'm doing, I don't know what kind of look it's gonna be, but I know it's probably gonna be a little bit dramatic. I would normally do my eyes beforehand, but I basically already had like pretty much a full face of makeup on anyway. So I thought, screw it, let's do a video. Yeah, fingers crossed there's like not much fallout because I, this is all I've got really. Okay, eyeball is nice and primed. I'm trying not to like look up at the camera too much because it might crease. I'm just like looking at you like this, like. How you doing? Oh, so the question is, what the hell am I gonna do? Okay, honestly, I think I'm just gonna like, basically do like a little bit of a rainbow on my eye. Like, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere today. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna literally chuck random colors on my lids and do like a bit of a, a rainbow kind of look. So first of all, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Morgan, which is like a really bright looking purple. Okay, I am so ready for this. Like, if this doesn't make me like, as soon as I put this on my eye, if I'm not instantly like one of those models on Mitchell's Instagram. Sorry, Mitch, not good enough. Okay, so I'm going to smack bang that right in my crease. Holy shit. Okay, there's a little bit of fallout under there, but I mean like, holy crap, look at that. 
That that literally might actually be one of the most pinkest shadows I've tried in a while. That's insane. Like that's actually like I'm not even just saying it to be like ooh a crazy on camera. That's actually fucking great. I actually didn't even want that much in my crease. Um, but yeah, okay. Apparently these eyeshadows are not messing around. Now I mean I gotta go in my morning glory. Nothing quite like a little bit of morning glory to start you off right. So I'm gonna tap off the excess of this, but even still, like that looks pretty intense. So I'm just gonna pop that just in there a touch. So I'm just kind of like etching that into my crease and just blending that into the purple slightly. Oh yeah, that is the stuff. That's blending in really, really nicely there. I'm now gonna take a little bit of Miles High, which is that like, okay, whoa, that like lilac-y shade. And I'm gonna start lightly blending that like around the darker purple just to get a bit of a blend going. Mmm, I love it. So far these shadows are sick. Like they are so, so pigmented. I know by this point like so pigmented is like kind of a little bit of a joke, but like literally like they're so, that's so pigmented. Okay, I kind of want to like just do a normal cut crease, but they're on the cut crease, just do like random splotches. Kind of like how that is. And just like random splotches of colour. See if it works? I don't know. I'm now gonna take a little touch of milkshake, which is that lighter pink. And I'm gonna tap that around where the other pink is, and then slightly bring that into my inner corner. I really want these colours to blend, but I also like don't want them to lose like their pop. Now, I'm gonna do a cut crease. My my desk is a mess right now, so I actually have no idea where any of my brushes are. So I'll be right back for a minute. I'm gonna tidy up, and then I'm also gonna come back probably with like a little cut crease. Um, yes. See you when my desk is tidier and my crease is more cut. All right, cut crease on. So now I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of Morgan because I don't want the outer corner to be like proper cut crease. So now I think I'm just going to do blue. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with mist. This blue here. Oh, you look good. You look good. I really don't know if this is going to work, you know. I'm trying to be a little bit more arty here, but I feel like it's just going to end up looking like a hot freaking mess. Don't even know if I'm going to like this, to be honest. I might actually completely start again. Okay, now let's do green. So again, same brush. I'm just drying it off in between. Okay, I want to do green like kind of under the pink to make it pop. Okay, I feel like it's kind of getting somewhere. I feel like it's looking a little bit mental right now, but I'm not hating it. I'm now gonna take some of the shade Manchester, which is this bright yellow up here. And I'm gonna bring that straight into the inner corner. You know what, I kind of like that, but I also kind of don't. And I'm kind of thinking I might get rid of the splodginess and do like a double cut crease. Ooh, with like the kind of multicolor gradient going there. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna basically Blend that in, the purple, the blue, the green, the yellow. So like blend it so it like is a bit more kind of blended. And then I'm gonna do like another little cut crease um, and I'm gonna put like one or two colors on the lid because I feel like this can look okay sometimes but it can also look a bit like a mess. That's fine, mistakes happen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. It might take me a minute, so be right back, gonna do that. And then we'll try something else. Mate, I was just filming and Microphone wasn't on, so I don't really know what bit I got up to. Um, I put the darker purple there, and then I put a bit of like the lighter purple there, and then I went in with some marine, which was this kind of like silvery duochrome shade, which is like very, very flaky, almost more of like a foil. Yeah, I was basically just like popping that on my inner corner. And then I looked at my microphone and I realized it wasn't on. Bloody brilliant. So then I'm gonna take a touch more of that lilac and just start to blend that in with like that foil. Oh, okay, I just did that on a whim then. They actually blend out really, really nicely with your finger. Like almost like blend into each other a bit better with your finger. Okay, let's add like a different color. I feel like I want a teeny tiny little touch of highlighter for this and there's not really like a kind of champagne shade in this palette. So I'm just gonna pop that on my inner corner because I feel like, I feel like it's all kind of like throwing me off at the minute. So I need that inner corner highlight just to kind of like know where I'm at. So like my little security blanket. So I put a little bit of highlight there and I'm like, it's fine, everything's gonna be okay. So now I feel like I want a little bit more morning glory. <laughs> As you do. And I'm actually gonna smoke that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. Cause I feel like I want more of that pink in there. That's pretty cool. 
That's pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. And then maybe, and this could be a risk. Uh, well, it is a risk, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go in a little bit of mental. This bright orange. Come on, please work. Please work how I think you're gonna work. Okay, I feel like that's actually kind of working. And then I might bring in a little touch of yellow. Teeny tiny touch of Manchester. Am I actually kind of bringing this back a little bit? Like, is this actually not as much as a mess as I thought it was? Are we actually like, are we actually fooling everyone on the internet that I can actually do makeup? Just blend that out with a teensy bit of lilac. That's a bit better. That's a bit better, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for a while. I might do a few little like tweaks when I put my lashes and like everything else like that on, but I think that's what we're going with. Okay, right, be right back. I'm gonna try and do the other eye. I don't even really know what I did on this eye, but I'm gonna try and redo it on this eye. Um, and I'll see you guys when I've got like lashes and stuff on. All right guys, so this is the finished look and I'm not gonna lie, there was like, there was a few moments during that whole video when like, I was like, am I gonna have to start again? Because honestly, like, the, the product was performing like really good. Like spoiler alert, I freaking love that palette. I think it's bloody 10 out of 10. But I wasn't really sure if like what I kind of had in my head was translating onto my eyeball. Um, but now both eyes are done. They've got like lashes on and everything like that. Um, I am obsessed with this look. Like, I'm really obsessed. This eye is definitely a lot better because I did kind of know what I was doing. But yeah, I'm like really, really into this look. So yeah, um, like I said a second ago, uh, bloody well done Beauty Bay and well done Mitchell. This palette is sick. Like it was literally kind of like everything I was wanting it to be and more really because, oh my God, the shades were so pigmented. If you use them with a wet base, like, I mean, I'm curious to see how they blend out on like a dry base because on a wet base, they're literally like one of the most intense eyeshadows I've ever seen. I think the color selection is great. I feel like you've got like a bunch of neutrals in there, but also like a ton of other colors to play with that aren't like your usual kind of blues and your usual kind of pinks. But yeah, I think this is just bloody great. I think if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette that kind of has like a little bit of everything and then a few like more kooky colors, this is great. Formula is great. It's just great. So guys, let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Was there a moment when you were like, what the hell is Steph doing? Are you still thinking that right now? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.